I want to poke you guys' eye. There, how's that? That's good, that's good. No, I can't talk now. I told you I was going live. Sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I gotta stop saying sorry. Why are we always saying sorry for? Life is life. Stuff happened. Oh, my calf did. Okay, so I'm sitting here. Let me get this ready ready to create another piece and I thought well I know how to kill two birds with one stone and I promised you guys last week remember when I went for a walk all the way down to the dog park that I would tell you the story about Aunt Millie okay let's see what am I going to design today I don't know I want to make something that I haven't made before. Okay, I'm gonna wrap that for her. This is a beautiful little fluorite that I'm about to wrap for my customer. Um, okay, you go over there, stay clean. And you come over here. Oh, I know, I'll make this. Look, you guys, I made, I made all of those already. Okay, we'll do this one today. Now, of course, I can't show you everything, but I can show you how I create some of my jewelry. Let me make it big so you can see. Oh. Okay, here we go. This one in particular is a tutorial by Nicole Hanna. This is not my picture, as you can see. Hi, honey, how are you? Isn't that, oh, isn't that beautiful? Yep, I'm going to create that. Again, this picture's not mine. It belongs to Nicole Hannah Jewelry. But I'm going to get that set up and get my stuff set up. Rock Chia right now. Because I love multi-testing. <laughs> um, okay, so. You, let me, hang on. Anything. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I was just asking, is that you? <laughs> Thank you. Easier to tell a story when when you're talking to someone. Uh, well, you guys know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to make this one copper. It calls for a... Oh, did you see what I was making? Let me show you real quick. Now, mind you, everyone that sees this later, you know, everything is, most things are small. And when you take the picture, because somebody was frustrated with me, she's like, I thought it was going to be bigger. No, that's why I tell you, it's two inches. Isn't that nice? I, this is uh, my favorite tutorial writer, because she uses mostly pictures, and I'm a picture person. Just like I'm an audio person, not a, I, I'm not a good reader. I'm trying to be at 57. I'm the comprehension is yeah. So after I hear something twice, I I got it's locked in. When I read something, oh God, especially if it's more than five characters, like how Stella got her groove back, could not read that book. I I ended up giving it to my sister. <laughs> I couldn't. My brain couldn't keep up with all those characters. And you know, I'm working. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, so a lot of people think, you know, look at a thing like that and they say, oh, well, it's going to be, you know, four inches. No. Um, and I mailed, oh, it's in the mail right now today. Uh, um, 
the real one to this one that I made, also by this same tutorial teacher. The real earring is this big. Yeah, so yeah, I like my stuff supersized. Okay, yes, I do. Uh, don't get me wrong, some stuff, you know, like if it's, um, if it's handmade uh, metal smithing, you know, we take a torch and you fire up the metal, that's different. So for my birthday, I bought me a little tiny itty bitty flower with a, a very expensive amethyst in it, you know, I'm into crystals, so. Uh, okay, go in there. I know I had two or three holes in there. You find one. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Why don't we talk about Aunt Nellie? Now, for those of you that weren't here when I did my walk a few days ago to tell you about Aunt Nellie, and then a, a, two or three of you were like, oh, I want to tell us a story, tell us a story. So that's what I'm doing, keeping my word. Okay, I know I have like several holes over here. Just you know, find one. Okay, forget it. Uh, Cause you know I don't mind being different, okay. <laughs> um, I was born and raised in San Bernardino, California, and for a lot of you might understand the concept of. Okay, that's supposed to be there. I thought I left a wire hanging. I was here to say what. Um. You know, when you have an auntie, it could be anybody's auntie, but she's the auntie for like the whole, and yes, I said auntie, not auntie. Okay, she auntie. <laughs> she's the auntie of the whole city, damn near. You know, at least, you know, a 30-mile 30, a 30 radius <laughs> or something, you know. So, and Nellie lived around down the street and around the corner and up the block, and, um, she was just bigger than life. I mean, I wish, I wish, you know, this is one of those characters that you wish you could go back and be with them and say, oh, now I get it. That's what you meant when you said, blah, 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 blah. Right? And I know now, too, she had to be some root worker or witch or whatever she wanted to be called. But, you know, back in the day, 1960s, you didn't say things like that. You went to church. And you put your mother hat on or, you know, the uh, Ursha board uh, gloves on. I cannot believe you. you pooping out on me already, YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I already went off and came back on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, spirit. Let's fix that. Okay. Uh, so it, it's interesting now that I'm an older woman to uh, probably, let's see, I'm 57. She's probably about 57 when I knew her when I was. 21, I think, you know, and I don't know where really she was from. I want, again, I want to say Virginia, but I'm not sure where she was from. All I know is she came up with some really weird things like, hi, hey, honey. When, okay, so on the walk last week, I was talking about on the walk last week, Keith, I walked all the way down to the playground, which for me is kind of far, but, you know, fat chicks still got to get some exercise. I can't be like this when I die, okay? Uh, and now it was truly unique. <laughs> yeah, so after, okay, so while the moon's growing, mm -hmm, that's what she called it, baby, when the moon's growing, mm-hmm. And I don't know what, and she always had the slip on. We don't wear slips anymore. Well, I, I bet a lot of you ladies still do because you cute and stuff and, you know, slip. A slip is what you put on underneath your dress so you can't see your bra or nipples or whatever underneath your dress or blouse or whatever. So, oh, let that be my package. Let that be my package. Please let that be my package. I'm here. No, yeah, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> anyway, uh, she was, oh, and you know, she wore her typical glasses, and she would be, you know, like this, like these, and uh, except they're a little bit bigger. And she was one of them, what we call, what, what black people call red bone. She she looked more white than black, I say, uh, and uh, she was just the most beautiful soul. 
you know, she was, oh my God. And she was all, she, she just lived with only herself in a two bedroom, um, two bedroom, one and a half bathroom, oh, two bedroom, one bathroom, old, old, old house, old house, you know, in the olden days, them two bedrooms was just this big, like Cracker Jack box. Okay. So anyway, so as the moon is growing, her and pops, uh -huh, her and pops, she'd always do like that on her slip. Cause you know, you do like that to you know, scratch your back when you can't scratch your back, you know? So her and pops, her, her old man, uh, would, she would, She would uh, start doing her rituals. I never really thought about it till, till now. I never thought about that till now. So she would do, like around the 15th of the month, she had me start changing out her water jars. Okay, so she'd have her jars, and then she'd have jars. Okay, the big jars are the ones that sit behind the front and back door. Okay, the back door was the thing to where you guys in the, East Coast called a mud room or whatever, where you take off your boots and your hat and coat and stuff, and um, some of the lawn tools are in there, blah, 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 that thing. So she had one of those in the back patio area, screened in. Okay. So she had the big jars of water, half filled, just half filled, because you know you got to let prosperity in to take the negativity out. Okay. It, it seemed to work for her because she didn't seem to ever lack for anything. Okay. Nothing. So I would be responsible for going around collecting the jars, empty them out. You wash them with a lot of bleach. You know, we black folk believe in some bleach, right? Chicken, watermelon, and bleach, mostly. I do know five people that don't eat watermelon. <laughs> yep. Am I not supposed to be okay? I am fat and happy. Actually, this is probably the happiest I've been since 2013. Yep. Getting my shit taken care of, making my money, walking my fat ass every day to stay in good health, uh, and taking less and less pills every month. Um, so I would clean the jars out. You have to let them air dry. We couldn't, you know, dry them with a towel. I don't know what was up with that, but we couldn't dry them with a towel. We had to set them on the drip dry rack and let them dry. Or, you know, set out a towel and turn them upside down on the towel. Let it dry. We could not. So then the next day I would go and I'd go to her specific sparklets glass water bottle. You remember back in the day, the five-gallon plastic things that we have now were glass. Yeah, back in the day. So she had one of those and she'd fill it with water. She'd pray over it and da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> so do I. And people are like, what are you? Yes, honey, I'm here to kill germs. What else kill germs? Nothing. Ain't no damn Lysol killing no fucking germs. No. Uh -uh. No, I want all them germs dead, honey. And scalding hot water. My niece always gets on, you gotta burn your skin off. Yeah, but my dishes will be clean. Okay? Yeah, no. And my clothes. Yes, even my, even my color clothes get a little, you know, two tablespoons in the washing machine, okay? Um, so anyway, she would, okay, so then I would come back the next day after doing other things around the house. I'm trying to remember all the other things around the house. Uh, I'm not remembering yet, but I'm working on it. I know the spirit will tell me exactly what I'm supposed to know, then I'll come do another live. <laughs> so, okay, so we, she would do that, right? And then she'd have me, okay, so I'd fill up the water the next day and place it underneath every single window and every single door. And even her, um, okay, so back in the day, you know, this is your living room. And even in the living room here, you had a door that would lead to a tiny hall to the bedroom and bathroom. Yeah, sure. Of course. Not to mention, pine salt smells good. <laughs> and so I you know, put the glasses up. So the next day, because, you know, as the moon's growing, mm -hmm, we have to do, you know, our rituals and and uh, you witchy folks will understand what I mean about that. So and for those you don't, you got rituals and it's, it's not a witchy thing. I mean, you get up, you wash your butt and and your balls and and you you know shave, shine and and all that other good stuff. And you you eat something and you go to work usually, right? Stereotypical American workforce, whatever. So 
The next day after we do the water thing, then we start washing out the tubs. Huge igloos. I'm talking about three foot long igloos for her to go fishing. She had to fish for the next whole month while the moon's growing. You do everything prosperous while the moon is growing. Okay, so she take this fish. <laughs> her and pops will go fishing, and she and you know before she come home, she like baby, yes ma'am. Uh huh. So baby, I want you and Shelly, Michelle, Michelle Harris. And if you're watching this, Michelle Harris, hello, send a girl a message. I've been trying to find you for years. Now I want y'all and that other little girl. Loria, not Gloria, Loria, uh, Ogins. Uh, wow, those are some good times. Um, now, baby, now, I, you know, you know, mom gonna be home in a little bit. We leaving the fishing spot because, you know, I can't tell you what my spot is. It's a secret. And I want you to go get some okras. Uh -huh. And now, baby, I don't want you to cut that okras just yet. I want you to get the current. Mm -hmm. Get the current. Now, you know, you got to pick enough ears to feed everybody. See, so there's going to be, it's going to be me and then there's it Pops. Pops probably eat because you know, honey, he likes my cooking. You know what? Well, he likes something else, but we can't talk about that. You're too young. And there's going to be the baby and then you and Shelly. And then you need to take a plate on over to, to your mother. Uh-huh. And then you need to take a plate on over to Mrs. Green. So there's going to be right about 10 of us. Uh-huh. So why don't you go in the backyard, honey? And don't you don't you be touching nothing else. Don't you be pucking off my tomatoes. I know you like them tomatoes, child. Don't you just leave my tomato right there. Right there. You hear? I, you are never too old to get a spanking. I know your mama told you that. I know she told you. Now, baby, now I want you to take that there corn. Mm -hmm. And you, you remember how I taught you how to cut it? You know you cut it twice, right? You cut the, the bubble parts off first, nice and thin. And then you take the corn, you put the you put the knife right close to the to the cob. And you just saw slow, child. You know you got to go slow. Because if you go fast, blade going to slip, go like that. I don't want no crooked corn, child. You hear? You listening? You hear me, child? Okay. Now, I want you to cut the current first. Uh-huh. And then, let's see, if we leave in about 30 minutes, because you know Pops is sitting on the toilet, child. You know, Pops, he has, he always gets a nervous stomach, and he always got to, he always got to go number two, right before we get on the highway. Yes, girl. Okay, so now we're going to cut the current, uh-huh, and, uh, and then... That should be in about three hours. Uh -huh. And then I want you to start washing and, and cutting up that there uh, okra. Okay. Now, you know how I like it. So you just cut it like I like it. You hear? You hear? Okay, child. Now, let's see. Now, I want you to cut that there okra. Right, cut it up right fine. You know, almost like the paper size, you know, because you know, Pops. Sometimes he likes to take his dentures out when he eat, you know, so it's got to be soft and mushy for him to eat, you know, and we got to keep Pops happy because, you know, we, we fitting to go to Vegas, child. You know, the moon's growing. And when the moon's growing, I got to go to Vegas. Yeah, child. Okay, so so we're going to leave here probably right around 30 minutes or so, okay? Okay, I'll see you when I get home. Yeah, we just go on hop ones and y'all come on out. It might be early in the morning. I'm sorry about that, but y'all just come on out. I'll make it up to you later. Okay, baby. I love y'all. <laughs> Remember she used to call us? She used to call us some old funny name, something like Rugrats, but it wasn't Rugrats. Anyway, whatever. So, um, so of course, she'd come home, and I had the corn cut, and it's in, you know, her huge Pyrex bowl. <laughs> Have the okra all nice and cut up. Top's over there, bottom's over there. She didn't like putting the top of the okra and the bottom you know, a little piece of okra in the meal. She liked to save those for herself and eat with her gizzards and cornbread and buttermilk. <laughs> so <laughs> she come home and me and Michelle and Loria, we'd, un we'd, you know, take the three huge uh, igloos of fish stuffed to the brim, duct tape down. Yes. Oh my God. That was, oh, that was like a week it took like a week to clean all that fish. Okay, maybe not a week. Let me, like four days to clean all that fish, right? And I knew she was coming, so we already went in her house. And I just, this is her. This is her glorious and divine recipe. Well, not the whole recipe, because you know she ain't telling her recipe, right? 
she'd always say she'd tell us later, but I, of course, ended up moving. So anyway, so we would line the bathtub with huge, those um, bigger than the normal hefty black trash bags, you know? So we'd line the, tr and she'd always make, she would make a uh, wine because around her little fence, her yard was like, oh, I don't know, maybe 40 by 50 feet. And all the way around the outside of the fence, she grew grapes. Mm -hmm. And she would make wine with those grapes. Yes, she would. In the bathtub. Yes, she would. Uh, so I'd line the bathtub, put a little bit of water in it, you know, just enough to put maybe, I don't know, 15 fish in there. Because she wants to lay them flat. Because you don't want the water going over, then the water goes out, right? So I have to line the tub very carefully and put make it all nice and even so the water don't go out. So when you put the water in and a little tide, I said tide, yeah. Can you believe? Now, baby, you just shake a little bit on there, just a little bit. Don't saturate too much. I don't want to have soapy fish, but we got to get it clean. We got we to get all that slimy stuff on it because you know they've been in that water and sometimes, well, that water ain't always fine. You you know what I mean? So we're going to put just a, little, just a little bit of tide in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to kill us. The first time, you're because your mom didn't put no damn tide in no water to wash no chicken or fish or beef or anything. So it was new to me. So me and Michelle are looking at each other like, is she really crazy? Oh, my God. Okay, auntie. And sure enough, I just took a tea tablespoon and shook it a little bit over each of the fish. Blah, blah, and then she'd come behind me. She'd stop you know, putting the rest of the corn and okra together and cornbread from scratch. Hot water cornbread, as we call it. And uh, she'd go in the bathroom and she had that little little baby brush and she'd uh, um, a, uh, a steel brush to get the scales off. Well, as much as possible. Um, and she'd scrape, scrape, and she'd sit there on the toilet, and she'd be scrubbing and for hours and hours and hours and hours. She seemed invincible. Like, honest to God, she seemed invincible. And she's scrubbing and scrubbing, and then she'd turn it to the other. And she'd pick up the one with the soap on it, and it's good, and turn it down, and down, and down, and down. And then, yeah, I've got to come put some soap on the other side. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so now she's in the kitchen uh, fixing... Um, Monkey bread. Child, you don't know good eating till you have some eat Nelly's monkey bread. Yes, sir. -y. Oh my God, that's some good eating. So, and yet we would do this until all the fish was done. Michelle would be out in the back with one of those really huge um, metal. Uh, back in the day, they used to wash in them because uh, everybody didn't have a washing machine, but you had a ringer, right? Uh, a tub, a tub, a huge metal tub. And uh, she's such a hoot. So Michelle would be out there. So mind you, she got the plastic on the ground, on the, on the grass, right? Which, of course, is just, it's because it's like a slip and slide at that point, okay? But we had to get these three buckets of fish cleaned, you know, as fast as possible. Okay, so she cut them, I cut them. I said, okay, baby, bring me in, you know, some, some of the fish out the tub. I lift the thing out the water. And put some more water, some more tide, and scrub, scrub, scrub. She comes, scrub, scrub, scrub. And then she gets so tired, she's like, forget it. Forget all that scrubbing. We'll, I'll just um, get the knife and take the thing. So she in the kitchen, she had one sink. Because, you know, back then we had always had two or three sinks. You got the big, big one for the dirty dishes, the smaller one for rinsing, and the smaller one for, you know, cutting up vegetables and whatnot, if you were to, well to do, of course. Most of us only had two sinks, same size, big, and deep. So... Uh, then she would take the rest of that fish, cut it open, you know, take all the guts and stuff out and put in the third sink stuff she was going to eat, you know, whatever. And then in the trash can, <laughs> yes, another trash bag. And, she, and this one was filled with ice and water. So when she cut it in half, when she filleted the fish, chopped the tail, chopped the head, because, you know, I, I don't want to see nothing looking back at me while I'm eating. So, uh, and, you know, I don't think Pops liked the head on his fish either. So, um, oh, God, those are good memories. I can smell the house now. Oh, it's so good. 
that monk, the cornbread was cooking, the monkey bread was cooking, macaroni and cheese was cooking, the greens was on the big pot, on, on the stove, sorry, in the big pot on the stove. And uh, we're still cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cleaning and cutting and cleaning for days. Okay, but in the meantime, okay, so you got your nice high uh, trash can. So, of course, most of the fish would fit in there with the ice and water, right? And uh, it would stay nice and cold, ready to be packaged to put in layers in the freezer. Yep, that's how we did it. You just layer your meals. <clears throat> so when we got like halfway done, she's like, okay, you guys, come on, let's sit down and eat. And honey, honey hush, tide, no tide, you know, so bleach, whatever. <laughs> no bleach, you can put bleach. <laughs> but I'm just saying it seems so odd, right, to put tide on your on your fish that you're cleaning that you just caught. <clears throat> so anyway, we did all, we sat down and had this huge meal, potato salad, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens. Um, uh, what else does she have? Um, I said potato salad, right? Uh, hot water cornbread and um, yams. Okay, and honey, oh my God, it was just like Sunday dinner. Oh, for days, it was like, and fish, and the fish. That then she would egg, she dry it off with a cotton towel. Dry that off. Okay. Oh, heaven. She would dry it off. She dip it in the scrambled egg with seasoning and in the flour, in the egg, in the cornmeal, in the deep fryer. <laughs> well, you know, back then we didn't really have a deep fryer. We had a, um, with the top jiggled, uh, crock pot. And she would fill that up with all, <laughs> with lard. And uh, she had her sieve that she would put down in there. And you put the fish in there. Well, she'd lay it nice and neat or, you know, whatever. No matter. It's all edible. And then, you know, you leave it in there for five, ten minutes. Okay. Four minutes. And you take it out and it's so nice and cold and brown. So now, baby, don't you touch that. Don't you touch that. And then she'd lay it on the other white <laughs> cotton um, thingy until the oil comes off, okay? So, you know, you cook the fish last, so it's hot, right? So you got all this food on, and you know, back in those kitchens, they were huge, long counters, right? So the baby, come on, fix your plate. Go down the line, go down the line. Picking out everything you want. Oh, my God. That was just heaven. Oh, Auntie, I do miss your cooking. I really do. Everything was just right. Nothing. I don't know how. Some people can get that so right. and Some people can't. You know, just enough everything to. So it's not too salty. It's not too much pepper. It's not too much this. It's not too much that. You know, and then, uh, and then of course, Pops would come on around after his nap. While we're eating our monkey bread. Now, let me tell y'all about some real monkey bread. It ain't like the one in Walmart, but it'll do. It'll do in a pinch. <laughs> um, bunt pan. You take the dough in a whole row. And then she had a huge bowl, another Pyrex bowl, of... Uh, you know, the nutmeg and cinnamon, blah, 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 right? And then she, sometimes she put in some dates and sometimes she put in only um, uh, walnuts. And, oh, my God. And, okay, so it's layer and then the sugary stuff layer and the layer sugary stuff layer. So, technically, when you pick it off, because, you know, in, in, the, in the 1800s when they did this, if they had a pan, you would just pick it off and eat it, you know, by the balls. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and that was it. And so, of course, you got the layer. Of, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me back up. So you got a layer of the balls and then the sugar and cinnamon and stuff and then the nuts. And then uh, oh, the molasses mixture. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. 
anyway, and then another layer and another layer and another layer and another layer, and another layer until it's like you think it's going to fall over from the sides, right? Oh, no. And then she put on the biggest layer of molasses and cinnamon, sugar, nuts, blah, 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 blah. Oh, man, it was so good. And we do all of this, of course, as the moon's growing, you know. So eventually this whole time led up to when she would go to Vegas. Her and Pops, because, you know, Pops drive, but Pops don't like to drive. There's a whole bunch of people on the freeway. Oh, my goodness, how funny. You you know, young ones really appreciate your youth, <laughs> really, because everything does change when you get older. Um, okay, most things change when you get older. But I'm saying things like, you know, before it didn't bother you to drive on the freeway. Now it does because it's just so fast paced and people are idiots. I know people are idiots everywhere in the world, but I'm just saying as you get older, it seems like they're fucking bigger idiots and cutting you off and, you know, and it's just nerve wracking. I could understand that now. Um, and of course, a Nelly and Pops, honey, uh, they go to Vegas. She would never bring back anything less than $10,000. And now the thing of it is, she never played, as far as I recall, and Nelly, if I'm wrong, you feel free to tell me. She never played like um, whatever that 21 thing is and the other table games, whatever they were called. She would play the quarters <laughs> or nickels. And did you know, I didn't know, did you know the quarter slot machines now they want you to put the fucking $20 bill in there? Did you know? Supposedly the only place that don't make you do that, and if you guys correct me if I'm wrong, because you know I'm still new here, um, is uh, Circus Circus. You could put one quarter. I'm, I'll, I'll go there once in a blue moon. I'll go there, have my have my two drinks, and stagger, stagger back home. <sighs> Yeah, I'm a big girl, but I'm still lightweight. I'm still lightweight. It only takes one drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the time I should have did a YouTube video because that was funny as hell. So I'm on the phone with my sister, Sophia, yeah, and then I'm walking with Paula and her husband because they come here every month to uh, gamble. He likes to play the 21, whatever that's called, thing, game cards, thing, whatever. And... Uh, so they don't drink. So, of course, I had his drink, and I had her drink, and I had my drink. I think Paula's kind of small, y'all. I mean, Paula's got to be, what, maybe a size six. She just got big boobs. Uh, and I don't know how she held me up and got me all the way into the elevator, up to the room. Oh, my God. That was so weird. It was everything me. And, you know, anyway, oh, my God, that was so funny. That was such a good day. That was such, thank you, Paula. That was such a good day. Uh, so, yeah, then Aunt Nelly and Pops would go to Vegas. They would stay in Vegas usually only uh, two days, I think. And then she'd come on home and she'd have her big purse full of money. Uh, well, back then it was called overnight bag, you know, travel bag. It's only about this wide. And, honey, she had that. Oh, they're back again. Hmm, I wonder what's coming now. More money, more money, more money. I need chain and I need boxes. And I need about 10 strands of beads, okay? So, thank you. Bring my mom. More money, more money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two birds. Now, mind you, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a sprinkly kind of day. Usually the birds aren't out then. And it's odd to see two, whatever those birds out there with, with red on their chest. I have to G-O-O-G-L-E that. Oh, one just flew off. She's still hanging in there. That means something. Anywho. And then, of course, you know, when they got back, we had more fish, decorated cheese, potato salad, monkey bread. <gasps> Everything. Oh my God, that was so good. Now, how is it I can remember all that and I can't remember hardly any of the rest of my childhood? Which is fine. Which is fine. I find people that remember their childhood and don't like it usually get cancer or something. I don't want that. She's still there. That means something. I don't know what it means, but anyway, we're going to figure it out. 
Okay, you guys, get off of here. It's time for me to go find something to eat so I can do my mukbang. It's Wednesday. And, you know, I post on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, I'm about to go live again to do... No, I probably won't go live. I'll just make a video. Um, for the 600 uh, subscriber um, freebie. And then I'll show you what I'll be giving away on, on, for the freebie. I mean, for the giveaway. So, get out of here. Bye, 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 bye. Don't forget... To be good to you first. Be good to you first. I love you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Life is so good. And it's only getting more and more better. Wow. I hope your life is getting better too. Okay. Let me go find something to put together so I can do my mukbang. I'm not lazy. And uh, haven't been editing my videos from weeks ago, so I get to do that today. Ah, thank you, my dear. But you know, we only see in others what we see in ourselves. <laughs> I'm going to go outside and have a talk with that bird and find out why she's still sitting there with only herself. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there they go. There's three of them flew off. Or maybe they were just taking a break or something, but it's really interesting. Anyway, I love you, my dear. You go back to reading your book, and I'm going to go back to listening to mine. And I'll see you on Facebook. The truck keeps coming. I'm expecting uh, my, my little dog treats. So that's why you always see me looking out the window. Is the truck for me? Is it coming here? Anyway, I love you, my dear. I'll see you on Facebook. <laughs> Bye.